Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this new memory from G-Skill. This is part of the Trident X series and what I have here is 2666 speed memory and this is a 4x4 four four gig kit. We're going to start with a closer look at the box and uh, if you're serious about your memory, who needs pretty packaging, right? This is a very serious memory so they have a very serious packaging here. Brown box, G-Skill logo, and this is designed specifically for uh, the Intel Core processors and the Z77 platform. Now bear in mind this is DDR3 memory, so any dual channel or quad channel motherboard you can slot this mem memory into. However, the Z77 platform in particular has proven to be very effective at running memory at overclock speeds, and this is what really this memory is designed for. So you will be able to test it out with other systems, but if you really want to get the max performance, uh, that is definitely the platform you're going to want to go with. But also, if you really just want to see what kind of other um, memory settings you can get to, uh, say using a different platform, you can go that route. As you can see, they actu have actually put stickers for the four different memory DIMMs that, are in s that uh, come in the kit right here. And the SKU for this entire uh, kit is F3-2666C11Q. 16 GTXD. Again, it's DDR3 2666 rated memory. That's PC3 21300. You get four 4096 megabits. Uh, I'm sorry, four 4096 megabyte sticks, and it runs at a cast latency of 11 13 13 35 at 1.65 volts. Next up, we will take a look in the box because you don't just get the memory. You also get a memory cooler, so this is a little add-on memory cooler here, so you can snap it around the memory modules and pop it on top of that. It has a couple fans that will actually, it looks like, draw uh, air away from the memory and feed it up and out into your case, because especially when you're running at overclock speeds, uh, memory can get a bit warm. So here we have a Molex connector, so you can power those fans to pass through, so you will still be able to plug additional items into that. And then we have the memory itself, which is right here individually packaged. So here's sort of a look at everything else that comes in the box. This is actually called a Turbulence 2 fan from G-Skill. That's the memory cooler fan that you, you get along with the kit. So it has a quick installation guide here to show you sort of uh, the proper procedures for plugging that in and getting it set up to keep your memory nice and cool. You also get a G-Skill case badge right there. So if you're into adorning your case with case badges, you can pop that on the outside of your case or the inside of your case or wherever you have it. And then, of course, we have the memory itself. So just to take a closer look at one of the DIMMs right here, as you can see, you got a nice Trident X logo on it. It's got a black and red color scheme overall. Looks pretty awesome, I have to say. And uh, it's even got some risers here on the heat spreaders to provide a bit of additional heat dissipation or just look really cool, depending on your opinion of how heat spreaders work. Uh, that is going to provide some additional cooling, of course, especially when used along with the uh, included cooler fan. Um, but that being said, I also like the fact that G-Skill has gone with actual black PCBs for the memory sticks themselves, so keeps the color scheme going. Make sure you have everything matching in your case, which, as Kyle will tell you, is always very, very important. Right, Kyle? Yep. Okay. Uh, one other cool thing about these, and I've actually done this with the bottom one, is uh, the actual size of a heat spreader is always very important. And um, actually, as I say that, I'm going to step aside for a moment and grab my ruler so that I can actually measure these because, you know, that's important information for you guys. So here is a quick measurement. So measured from the bottom, which I'm going to line up about there. We can see we're just shy of two and a quarter inches of height for the uh, DIM and the PCB. And now, I'm sorry, the, <laughs> the DIM itself as well as the heat spreader. Now, with that in mind, sometimes where you have your memory installed in your case, uh, you also have, for instance, a CPU heatsink fan, and if you're using a larger one, that can sometimes conflict. So G-Skill has actually put a couple screws on either side of this heat spreader, and you can just slide it off like that. So um, you lose a little bit of that heat dissipation, but easy enough to remo remove. doesn't necessarily hurt the look of the um, memory itself. And then you get a height of, well, less. And I haven't pre-measured this, so bear in mind as we focus. So you, you lose a good, at least a half an inch of height there by, uh, by removing that heat spreader. And then, for example, let's say you, your cooler was only blocking one of the dims. You could actually pop that spreader off of just one of the dims and still have them on the other ones. Just gives you some options um, when you're actually installing this. Uh, next up, let's actually pop this into a system and take a look at the XMP profiles. 
All right, guys, so after I went over all the uh, Z77 goodness that uh, this memory is made for, I've gone and plugged it into an X79 board. So this is a Gigabyte uh, X79 UD5 motherboard, and uh, we're just going to jump over here to the 3D BIOS so we can uh, see the memory timings. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with XMP, it's Extreme Memory Profile. Uh, it's sort of a collaborative thing with Intel, and basically there is a chip on the memory itself that uh, will tell the uh, BIOS the different actual memory settings that uh, the chip can do. Now bear in mind that these are, are a bit broad at times because uh, they do need to work with a wide variety of different motherboards, but they can often be a really nice uh, sort of stepping off point and then you can go on and tune the memory from there. So from here we can see we have XMP profiles. Once I click on that we can see there's actually two profiles uh, that the memory sticks come uh, and ship with out of the box. So you can choose either of those. It's going to set the memory frequency to 2666. And uh, I'm going to say just for the record here on an X79 motherboard, if I were to leave it at this settings, it would not work. You need to check your um, actual motherboard memory to see what overclock uh, settings uh, the memory will work at. Uh, for instance, this X79 uh, motherboard is, has official overclock support for up to 2133. Also bear in mind you have overclock settings, you also have sort of stock settings uh, that uh, Intel uh, has particularly set up for any given system. So um, on Z77, for example, Intel finally has uh, supported uh, DDR3 speeds of 1600. Uh, in this particular instance, it's 2666. You can also click here on Auto and actually set uh, this divider exactly, so 2400, 1866, and as you jump up and down, it's going to adjust the timings for you. Speaking of timings, if I jump over here, we can see the actual timings that are set up. And again, um, it, this is going to vary based on the motherboard that you're using, uh, but a good rule of thumb is to sort of start off with your XMP profiles, and then from there, if we change that to auto, uh, from there, uh, once you restart, you can go in and actually start adjusting the voltages and that sort of thing. Uh, but 2066 memory out of the box is really fast. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the G-Skill Trident X Quad Channel Memory Kit. This is DDR3 memory, 4x4 gig kit, and again, 2666 is the rated speed. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.